This is a tutorial for how to make black buttercream in literally half an hour. So I've got my butter here. Make sure you use real butter, not the one with the oil in it. Make sure it's 100% milk. And I'm going to put this into a bowl. I'm using 250 grams of butter to 500 grams of icing sugar. So all of this goes in. This is using Connor's buttercream silk method. Then I am adding in a heaped half teaspoon of Saraceno black. Now, I used to use sugar flare black, but there is a slight navy off of it with this method um, and it takes that little bit longer to develop, whereas the Saraceno works instantly. Pop that across the top, put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds, just in case it smokes. Take it out, stir it, then bring it back out again once it's gone back in and stir it again. We just want this to become a liquid at this point. Now you can use that sugar flare as well. They are the only two that work with this method. Put in your vanilla, and then we're gonna manually add the icing sugar. Now we wanna make sure that we put this in in small amounts. The reason for that is we don't want it to lump up. So we're just gonna keep going round until it makes a paste. Then we're gonna add some more on the top. Now. You'll see me keep going and keep adding here. After all this, I add in some xanthan gum. I'd forgotten to put it in, so I added it over the top. Might sound strange. Add the xanthan gum to the icing sugar before you add it. It incorporates a lot better. The reason for the xanthan gum is it's an emulsifier and we've got melted butter here and it stops it from splitting. So this is quite important. It might slip, um, split slightly, but it won't split as much as it normally would and it's an amazing tool for this so there we go it's all incorporated i am gently doing this the reason that a lot of black butter creams do go a lot lighter is because we whip air into it and when you whip air into it it lightens and lightens and then it takes a long time around about six to eight hours for that color to develop sometimes even longer Right, so there we go. That is incorporated. So there's that xanthan gum. So I am adding that to the top. Now that is, I'll put a little bit back. I used three quarters of an eighth of a teaspoon. You only need the smallest amount, but it does really work. So that's three quarters of an eighth of a teaspoon and add it to the icing sugar before you pop it in. Okay, so I've stirred all of this around. It's completely incorporated. As you can see, this is pure pure black there now all i'm going to do now is just make sure that all those lumps are gone i'm just moving it backwards and forwards and then we are going to put some cling film over this and put it into the freezer now i'm only putting this in the freezer for about 10 minutes it can go hard quite quickly and we don't want this to go hard we just want to set it together so check it after five minutes and then if it's not too hard, we can take it back out. If you let it go too hard, you're going to need to whip it a lot. And that's not going to work. That's going to reduce the colour. So you saw across the top there, there was some splittage across there. Not as much as what there would have been. But all I'm doing is scraping that across the top back in. Now mine is a little bit hard here. So I am going to have to pop the cling film on and leave mine on the side for 20 minutes just to come back down a little bit. You can see here the consistency is still fairly tough. Uh, that is the method of Connors and that is what happens, but it is also a whippable um, consistency now, okay? So this, I always speed up my tutorials um, a tiny little bit just so that you don't get bored, but I am I've left this bit here not sped up so you can see real time what that mixer does so there we go right i've sped you up again a little bit but you need to have it on the lowest and really really low for around about two minutes no longer we are going to do the rest again by hand but you will see that the buttercream just really does that connor's thing where it just levels itself out and that's really important do not use the whisk only use the paddle okay Take some out, pop it into the bowl, and then by hand, we are just going to mix it. Now you can see me going across the top, backwards and forwards here. We are not going to be whipping loads of air into it. We are just making sure that there aren't any lumps there and that it is all completely smooth, which it is. It's absolutely amazing. Now, luckily here, I'm using a black bowl, which I have done deliberately. I have a black top on and a black apron. So you can now see this colour. Now, since I began with this, it's been half an hour. 
the reason that mine took that long is because I left it in the freezer a little bit too long. Like I said, please check it after that five minutes. Okay, and look how this pipes. Absolutely gorgeous. There's that legendary Connor's buttercream silk with that amazing, flawlessly silky smooth texture and that instant black buttercream. So I hope this has been really, really helpful. I've also recorded one for red buttercream so that you can see that you can do this with any deep colour. For all of the Connors methods, have a look at our website on bakingwithginnyandjo.com and you'll find everything on there. We'll see you really soon. Take care.